Yo, what's good, family? It's your man, the YB. Back once again. Big shout out to my doggy, Izzy Pop, for coming through and boosting up your man, the YB coin. No doubt about it, 1 million percent. So, we got some breaking news right now. Regarding your man's Alexander, very nice. I like your wife, nice. I like how much. Very nice. I like. Listen, end of the day, you sick, you like your wife, big man thing. Yeah, he stay loving your wife. I heard you sick. Yeah, you best believe he stay patterned up with your man's bar. Right? Yeah, he want your wife. And that's what I tell you, man. All you Eastern European cats, stay away from you sick. He want your wife and he want to know how much. How much? How he like, yeah? Very feel, 100%, big facts. Yeah, he very feel your wife. <laughs> that's what he said, big facts. Yeah, he said, listen, my name you sick. I very feel your wife. Your wife is very feel. Yeah. Your wife very feel I like how much. He very feel I like. <laughs> anyway, listen. <laughs> yeah, so Mr. Very Feel, Mr. Feel Very, that's clap back at Tyson. Oh, Furious call out now. I did the video earlier today, so if you haven't seen Furious call out, it's a few days old now still, but either way, Fury came out and just did what he normally does started talking, started woofing. It was, in my opinion, it was good woof though. He said, he said Listen, you sick, you're too small, I'm too buff, I'm a seven foot. 200 pound, 300 pound, bear moth. Oh, and I'm gonna walk you down and tr take you to school. Yeah, you sick. I've obviously seen that and clap back. He said, Listen, when I saw the message from at Tyson Fury, and obviously cracking up laughing, and listen, he can, he can basically, he confused. He cracking up and he's saying, What this guy talking about? Yeah, and essentially he's saying, listen, Fury, he like your wife, and you want to know how, that's what he said, I'm hearing now, you sick, he's out there asking people how much Fury want for his wife, he like her, she's very nice, and he want to know how much, how much, very nice, like, your wife nice, I like, how much, yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's what he's saying, but, uh, he want to know, yeah, he loved the blonde, he loved the whole thing, Paris be doing with the whole blonde thing, and he wants them, yeah, how much, that's how he left it anyway, now, on a more serious note, I mean, it's not it's not a whole lot, but listen, this right here is more build up we've seen out of Usyk than we saw the whole two AJ fights. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This is what I want to see. This is what we need to see right now. Yeah, we need to see two men who don't really. I mean, respect is people too much. I feel there's too much respect here in boxing these days. I'm sorry, I just feel there is. And Fury showing Usyk no respect. Now, obviously, Usyk in this particular post isn't airing Fury out, but I've got more videos coming soon. Usyk and his team have been laid a fire down against Fury, and rightfully so. But this kind of clownage, I have to kind of salute Usyk. Number one, English isn't his first language, but number two, I thought he was quite quiet and reserved, which he is, but still, I mean, he could do what he has been doing, i.e. a lot of the times with these kind of cats, these quiet cats, they, they say things like, oh, I'll let my speaking, I'll do my speaking in the ring. Now, as a observer, that's dead. I ain't trying to hear that. I just ain't. Yeah? AJ, listen, AJ play, AJ played out that whole, oh, I'm going to do my speaking in the ring. That's played out. Ain't no one trying to hear that rubbish. They just ain't. No one trying to hear it. We want to see you. Yes, we want to see you do the speaking in the ring, but also, we want the bit before it, yeah, if you're so confident of doing something in the ring, tell us about it, I want to hear you six saying, listen Fury, you're big and you're slow, yeah, you're big and you're, f listen, the bigger you are, the harder you fall, we've seen you fall before, you will fall again, yeah, as such, listen, you can be as big as you want, but that's what gravity is for. Gravity, bring your big ass down. Oops. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of bastard. I've just given you a few bars still. Yeah? If your big bulbous 300 pound ass going to be falling real quick to the canvas. Those are the kind of sticks he should be airing out right now, in my opinion. Just giving it back to him. Nope. And that's the thing. I tell these guys, listen, and no one no one can talk to talk like the YB. You man must bring the YB onto the team. That's what you must do. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie to you. In terms of commercial value, imagine, yeah, if Usyk was out here, just thinking, I'm sorry, I can't believe it doesn't add literally millions to the fight. If you say this fight's worth 100 million, yeah, I can't believe 
you sit talking proper mad, mad ish isn't going to add 10 or 20 percent that's 10 20 million pound oops yeah you sit right now bring the yb on and we'll out, be talking some mad shit on our ig that's just the truth i'm telling you that's what the people want to see these days the people want to see you talking mad shit yeah you're big and you're heavy and what do we know about big and heavy big and heavy falls quick <laughs> oops <laughs> yeah what i'm kind of bastard anyway listen Usyk right now, he warming up to it. I was I was a bit worried, not worried, but for too long we have to see Fury almost carrying the promotion himself. I'm glad to see that Usyk is entertaining it. I had a feeling that Usyk was going to be the whole, oh, I'll do my, oh, we'll see on fight night. You know what I mean, no one's there. We see them ones way too much these days. Oh, I'll do my talking in the ring. Oh, I'm not going to play social media games. And often these fighters, they wonder why they ain't getting the big paydays. That's the reason. Now, we're not telling you to be a clown. Conor McGregor's a clown now. Do you know what I'm saying? No one's asking for you to be a clown show. But not letting a man muck you off in public, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah? There's nothing wrong with telling Fury what time it is. You might be big, but you're slow. Uh, compared to me. I'm 200 pound. I'm nifty. I'm nifty 50 with it. Yeah. I'm nifty on 50. How about that? Oops. <laughs> yeah. I'm super duper nifty on 50. How about that? You're big and you're slow. You're big, you're slow and you're ponderous. And you're soft and your belly soft as well. How about that? Your belly soft and your barnet clean shaven. How about that? I'm going to slap you on your barnet. How about that? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing some diff. I'm just working with it. How about that? And you should be saying, listen, in the day, I've just thought, even though the real boxing people know that AJ is no good, I'd be saying if I was you sit, listen, look what happened to the last guy who was big and buff. Oops. And the last guy was one of the best bodybuilders we've ever seen. What did I just do to the best bodybuilder of the last 30 years? Smoked him. Yeah. All that weight didn't do nothing for him, did it? Oops. Even though, again, even though real boxing people know, AJ is useless. The public, the casual fan narrative, will start thinking, "Oh shit, that's a fair point." AJ was bigger and buffer. Many people even would say that AJ is a better combination puncher than Fury. Oops. So wait a minute. What did Usyk do to the biggest, buffest, better combination puncher than Fury? Oh, he boxes. He boxes ears off. Yeah, that's what he did to him. And that in itself starts to create narratives, and narratives is what create intrigue. If people know that Fury is too big, too strong, it's much less entertaining than people thinking, damn, U6 made some fair points here. Bigger is slower. AJ was bigger, he was super slow. AJ was more powerful. He got all that power couldn't land. Yeah? And if I was U6, I'll be pu- I'll be pumping out the videos of of Fury hitting the mat. I'll be saying, listen, like I said, you're big and you're heavy. And heavy, <laughs> yeah, you'll be on a one-way ticket straight to the ground. The ground, listen, gravity and the earth love love heavy. That's their favourite, yeah? Gravity and the earth's favourite snack is a big heavy dude. Yeah, you want to you nom you all up. Nom, 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 nom. That's what the, I'm telling you now. What did the earth say when Deontay Wilder hit Tyson Fury? Nom, 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 nom. It was nibbling on him as he came tumbling down. Yeah, that's just what happened. I'm just telling you. I'm just reporting the history of the game. So, yeah. Salute to Fury. Salute to Usyk. He's trolling right now. I'm here for all of it, to be quite frank with you. The game's been too boring for too long. And also, I actually feel that not only does the entertainment before the fight build intrigue and build anticipation, also... It actually increases the quality of the fight, I feel. Because when two men, yeah, have been talking the shit, and the fight comes, it's almost like both of them now have to back it up. I feel these new age cats, yeah, half the reason they don't talk their shit is because they think, oh, I don't really want to put myself out there, because if I don't deliver, I look like a bit of an idiot. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that's part of the reason these scary new age cats don't want to own it. They don't want to say, I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest. Oh, well, if I don't, AJ's like, oh, if I don't say anything beforehand, then that means, uh, that means if, when I flop, it won't look as bad. That means when I flop, 
No one can say I told you so. AJ loves having that built-in excuse of, oh, well, I didn't tell you I was going to do any better than that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's hard to put yourself out there and say you can do something. That puts pressure on you. So these guys now, when they start getting into it, in theory at least, well, to be fair, Yusuk and Fury, they'll fight hard anyway. But trust me, I've, if, in my experience, especially when you look at a lot of these social media fights, the reason a lot of these social media fights are so entertaining is because both men, they've got shit to lose, publicly speaking. No one wants to be, no one wants to be memed on the internet forever, which naturally makes people fight deeper and dig deeper. A lot of these boxing guys, they turn up and they go through the motions. No shame. This pre-fight stuff, it builds that, it builds that old schoolness about it. I feel. After all, look at the look at the greatest in the game. Look at Ali and their man. You know, they was always woofing. And that's arguably what led to the greatest nights. I'm sorry, but tell me the greatest nights that were made where people was quiet talking about, oh, I'll do my speaking in the ring. Ain't no one trying to hear that. They just ain't. They ain't trying to hear that one. Yeah, and Yusuke right now should be riding high. He should be saying, like I said, look what happens at last. And the thing is, if I was Yusuke, I'd start talking about the UK as well. I'd start saying, listen, UK, big, big, burly UK dons are my favourite snack right now. <laughs> Oops, you know what I'm saying? That's what he should be saying. He should be saying, listen, I love nothing more than to snack on a big burly UK don. What's that? You're six foot nine, great. Yeah, because I just, I just chewed on a six foot six burly nick. I can't wait to chew, I can't wait to get a taste of the UK, you know what I mean? I can't wait to get a taste of what six, ooh, I wonder what the six, six foot nine. I wonder what the six foot nine don tastes like. Yeah, because a six foot six burly nick, he washed up right now. He take, he's sleeping it off. <laughs> Do you understand? Those are the kind of lyrics he should be coming with, in my opinion. Let's not forget, Fury's, Fury's giving his part out. It's not like Fury's quiet. I've just passed use at the game on how he can start going bar for bar with Fury. And if I was using really, on the Instagram, that's the great thing with Twitter as well. Twitter and Instagram, they're text-based. Yeah, the videos would be more imp- more potent, but if you're struggling with English, just put the t- I mean, the text will do. Yeah? And I, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Why wouldn't? Why would a team not be advising this? I don't see any way that every every team should be backing, or every team should be encouraging their fighter to build this fight. And those are the kind of things I've just told you what should be being said right now. I mean, imagine how mad it would be hearing, few, hearing you sick, lyricing them things off. About the UK, about big burly dons and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, big man ting. Like button. Subscribe and your boy will be back, no doubt.